If there is an issue that the board isn't in a position to be able to, to gather or there needs to be an instant, as happens today, much more instant uh, management response to an issue, that the management feel that they, they have a, a policy or they have a very good understanding of what the board would like to be done in such a situation. And that is something that is new to board members. In the past, boards have been able to, to consider, reconsider and make decisions. Now it's actually they've got to be in a position to make decisions for events that may not even have happened yet. time of uncertainty, it's important that the board is a source of energy to the senior management team uh, and to the whole organisation, and that it is focused in what it is trying to achieve, particularly on the clarity of the strategy. The extraneous things that are going on in our environment, there is a lot of uncertainty and certainly a board needs to think about those things, but I think the main job of the board is to try and focus on what they can control themselves and make sure that as a board that they're tilting the strategy and, and directing the strategy in those areas that will yield a result for the company. The most important thing is to stay focused on the agenda and not get distracted by events that happen. Uh, people expect events to happen, you expect management to be able to cope with those things, you expect them to tell your board if there's need to divert for a, for a brief period of time at a board meeting to discuss that topic, but generally uh, is, is to avoid drift. Drift is, a, is an enemy really. You'd be surprised that a number of people a year ago that if you said cyber risk to them would colour it green and say, you know, okay, it's, it, it's the internet age, so it's a risk. But when you start to understand the gravity of things like ransomware or hacking or all the kinds of things that can go on in that cyber environment, you realise that uh, there's a need for external expertise. There's a need to get yourself up to speed. I personally, when this became an issue maybe about a year ago, I personally signed up and spent a day uh, getting briefed on it uh, at, at an appropriate level, but to, to a level that I could ask the right questions in a boardroom setting. I think it is uh, the role of the board to be trying to understand that proper investments in IT and IT defences are taking place. So I think it's important to monitor what, how management are going about patching, upgrading, is there a, a sufficient budget, is that budget been wisely spent. At the end of the day, if, you've got, if you're a customer driven business with lots of customers, you really must find a way of protecting that. And again, within the boardroom, you need to ensure that your IT function uh, and your data, you know, most companies are now having to employ a data protection officer uh, to ensure that that data is not compromised. One of the things that I think is critical in all companies is a, an updated risk register. And I don't mean a document and, and something that gets presented or otherwise, but I really mean the work the committee does around reviewing uh, how those risks are assessed, how those risks are audited, and what actions are taken when problems are found or when there are issues uh, with, respect, with respect to uh, the, the company itself. So. Um, and I do think the Audit Committee has primary responsibility in that area. What starts out as a small group of senior managers, I like to have somebody from outside the organisation join that core group because you're getting an external viewpoint as well as an internal look at things. And then they will meet with all the managers in the, organizations, in the organisation, review uh, the uh, internal pro processes, financial and administrative, and then bring recommendations forward to the, to the Senior Management Committee, to the Audit Finance and Risk Committee and then subsequently then to the board itself. So you're getting the best of both worlds, an internal view and an external view through the board members. That would give me confidence.